my god! I'm not gonna make videos with you anymore. Alright, oh, I'd mind. like to see you go solo. Group hug. Hi guys, and welcome back to the internet. Okay, so lots to talk about. Since our last YouTube video, yeah. we went on holiday and then we had to escape early because of various reasons. So many reasons. And then there's been weird goings on in our house. Really? Got, like, what? like the sausage <sighs> in the garden. Yeah, I forgot about yeah, that. Yeah, we need to talk about the sausage. It's such a weird crime way. I know! So basically, we went on a holiday and it was like the worst holiday ever. We are cursed when it comes to holidays. Obviously, we were meant to go to Cuba this year. Didn't go. Didn't, Didn't go. go. I just uh, spat we were all over I had an eye infection. Look. Look. So we decided to go to Cornwall because we were like, oh, maybe we can't make it out of the country, but we could stay in our own country. It was so bad, guys. I'll tell you it's why. Terrible. First of all, my mum booked it. Well, she didn't book it. She recommended it. She was like, oh, and your really mum was nice. cursed for booking Cornwall holidays. Because last time she booked us a holiday for Cornwall, we paid for it, and then she was like, don't come. It's terrible. We she was like. like it's not clean here. So it was the worst place ever. It was a really nice little place, but it was in the middle of fucking nowhere. It was in the there was nowhere. nothing to do. You had to get a ferry to get to the nearest shop. 24 hours in, we were so bored. But I didn't have my PlayStation. I yeah. didn't have my gardening obsession. I didn't have my dog or cat. And mm. honest to God, I was bored out of my fucking mind. I was so bored. Also, because also I was gonna say it. The Cornish people, the people of Cornwall as a whole, didn't like us. I was gonna say that mildly, I'm gonna generalize. Rude. Yeah. This is interesting. I got a comment from Is someone. it interesting? No, it's interesting. Oh my Oh my god! I'm not gonna make videos with you anymore. Alright, oh, I'd head. like to see you go solo. <laughs> Cornwall and someone said oh you're gonna be the only tourist coming to Cornwall that I don't hate so I was like okay everyone was just nasty it was uh, people were mean to us I'm not gonna generalize Cornwall I it am. must have just been those people that's the whole how of Cornwall having a bad every day. single person woman man child in Cornwall rude they like their roads only having one way vehicular access oh yeah the roads did I say that right vehicular I don't know who cares here we are bad mouthing Cornwall you just said that the whole of Cornwall was rude that's what you said it's so problematic you can't just group every Everybody into one like brand of rudeness. Like, you can't do that. You should know better. You should have more of an open mind. I'm really sick of you. Do you want to be a solo YouTuber? Try no. it. Oh, uh, don't be rude to me. I'm sorry, I'm from Cornwall. So, <laughs> is that what you're saying? You just said that I was from Cornwall and I was being rude. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this new mentality you've got in 2K19. It's really problematic. This is also how I know we're ready for our baby. I went to the beach and it was boring. And we took someone else's child. Just kidding, you can't joke about that sort of thing. In 2K19, you're so... <laughs> anyway. Oh, I had to pee on the beach. There's so many bad memories. <laughs> but basically, here's another example, right? So I booked uh, tickets to finally go see Dumbo. I'm like real big on the cinema. I love it. And I booked tickets for a day and then we ended up being right in time for a screening on a different day. So I went in and I went, oh, hi. Um, I booked tickets to go see Dumbo on Thursday and the guy went, congratulations. Rude. I don't mind, no offense, I, I used to work at a cinema and I never treated anyone that. I'm, I was taken aback too. I literally yeah. couldn't believe what so I did. I was like, he went, congratulations. So anyway, would it be possible if I could get a refund and then buy uh, uh, for the Thursday showing and actually buy some for today instead of coming back on Easy the ferry? Question. Paying eight pounds for there and back. Don't the get price. me started on the ferry Extortionate. price. Extortionate. He went, we can't refund them, but we can exchange them. Yeah, same thing. He was rude to me. He was rude. He was wooed. And then, so let's tell them about the spa. So then basically, me and Rose were like, this whole thing has sucked. I got bit. It was just like, people were mean. There was lots of incidents with cars. I couldn't even get fish and chips in a seaside town. Right, exactly. It was difficult. Anyway, we were like, okay, we'll book a spa day. So we'll just be in the spa all day and then maybe we'll leave early. Yeah. Maybe. So I googled luxury spas. Because we were like, let's let's do it. We right. need something. We'll, we'll do that. Oh, and... We kept not being able to eat out every night. We kept cooking at home and we were like, why are we just living our home lives on holiday? But without like, any of the comforts of home. Right. We had to drive like half an hour just for a crap shot. Yeah, and that South African hug. woman was like, oh, you're back. And I was like, yeah, I know. Can I have some change for the car park? She was like, yeah, sure. And then her boss was like, you can't give change to Oh yeah, he was like, you can't. And we were like, oh my God, it's gonna kick off. And he was like, yeah, it's okay now because you said that you would, so in the future, you can't do that. And then I left and he went, you can't give, and I went, she heard you yeah. the first time. He was really mean to that woman who yeah. became our friend. She was the one. I don't think she's our friend. Wow. Anyway, I Googled best spas Cornwall and this one came up, luxury hotel and spa Cornwall. And I was like, great, it was the top yeah. one on Google. Right? Yeah. So I rang up and said, can we book two spa days and some treatments? And they were like, yeah, sure. And I was like, cool, cool, cool. So excited to yeah. just go and relax and unwind Chill. after all the stress. We turned up and it was an old people's home. There was no one there apart from one woman under the age of like 90. Yeah. Literally. So we parked and they were like, you can't park there. And we were like, okay, it's a oh, guest arrival. No, by this time so, I was like, of course I can't. So we went into the spa and the first thing the woman said was, oh, we're not really known for our spa. This is so confusing. I Googled like best spa Cornwall and you came up. 
tree and then tell and, and spa and the girl and the door we went through said the, the spa. spa and there was only one person who worked at the spa which was her so we had to walk through this hotel which yeah. there wasn't a living person under 90 in no. the hotel they're all really old and then we had to get in the oldest lift known to man and it was like so small it was like a two person lift that was I, it wait hold on I need to elaborate I don't do lifts ever since I got stuck in one at BBC Radio 1 for like 15 minutes with no reception and no outside help and full grown men you had like a panic broke down and I was like well I'm never getting one again I don't go in lifts I just don't do it right this is the oldest lift known to man it was more like um some kind of like small cavity slash chamber of death it made a really weird noise yeah it was like creaky it right? was like a normal lift it wasn't and a lift that you'd see like at an airport for example when she was giving us the tour she went a different route and went oh I'll let you get the she lift she said I'll it's meet now, you downstairs I'll meet you downstairs and I was like okay so I got on this lift had a mini panic attack got out wow, I can breathe again. And she comes from like this fire escape. And I said, oh, are there stairs I can take? And she went, oh, don't you like lifts? And I said, no. And she went, no, there's no stairs you can take. She what? just took the stairs. Bitch just took the stairs. And Lied for me one more time. Also, it would mean that to go up back up for our treatments, we'd be in our bikinis and in a robe, and then we'd have to get in this old, old lift. How fun that would be if there walk, was a fire. Yeah, and then walk <laughs> through the whole hotel of old people in our bikini. It was so weird. And she went, right, I'm going to show you the facilities. Here's the pool, and here's the steam room. Be careful, the door gets stuck and she was like yeah it's really stiff it gets stuck oh. so i could have gone in there and nice. like final destination yeah. been trapped in the steam room and yeah. by the way i have really low blood pressure i have to be so careful about being in rooms like that because yeah. i could just die anyway i could faint anyway well, that was an over exaxaggeration well, wasn't it for I got, youtube i've got dangerous really, blood really. pressure but it's cool not really this place is the world's most this horrible place trap. and the woman was also kind of rude to us she said there's only one change room like one tiny room the door doesn't lock i mean other people in the hotel can come in but you should be fine and just leave your stuff there yeah. Yeah. So there was no lockers. There's one room. That was nice. So Rosie and I, if you know us personally, which you do because you've been subscribed to us for so long, we are probably the politest people you'll ever meet to our own detriment. Yeah, like for example, if I'm at the hairdresser like yeah. and they've got boiling hot water on my oh, scalp and they burn. go, is the temperature okay? Yeah, I go, great. fart up, Same, perfect. I do that too. Yeah, okay. I just bitch about them online. Same. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like Cornwall. We deliberated for about half a second and I said to Rosie, we haven't paid up front for this bar. No, day. we didn't pay any money which was weird as well when I booked it and then I said shall we just bail and go home on this woman and drive from Cornwall home. back to the Cotswolds and Rosie went that means that woman will have two empty spa slots. Yeah, let's go. But fuck can it. Can I just say when I rang yeah. up and booked them, she yeah. said, no one is here today. That's fine. So I didn't, it's not like I took someone's place and she could have earned the money. And weird. So the whole thing was weird. We left. Everyone was so old. And then we got home. Mm. We packed up. We just we fucked off. We just got out we? there. We yeah. just fucked So off. I was being bitten. Although we did do the nice thing and we took all the bins out before we left. Oh yeah, I cleaned tidy. up. Yeah, we cleaned up. We yeah. the ants. I, we emptied all the bins. Emptied yeah. the bins and made the bed. And yeah, cleaned the shower. I'm pretty much cleaned the whole place if you know we, job. we are such rebels <laughs> on the positive side of the situation of our cursed holidays yeah i have a really nice life with you and i really enjoy our home is it weird that i really enjoyed having a bad holiday to bitch about with you oh do you remember when we just got home and then we just watched like a whole season of tyler henry hollywood medium yeah who by the way follows us and tweeted us back and said he watched our videos and then he favorited us coming second second on the diva power list babe second's really good did you see who we came second to the girl from Bay off who's amazing. I know, so amazing. I'm 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 really proud of that. That's nice. The sausage in the garden. I mean the sausage in the garden is something we need to talk about. Yeah. So basically I've developed a gardening obsession. As you know from the garden centre trips. In the sense that I like to garden. It's therapeutic. Mindfulness. It's a thing. It's my thing. I've got a lovely circular flower bed. One day I go out in the morning and there is um a sausage in it. It looked pretty fresh as well. Like it was a cooked sausage. What's crazy is there was more than one slice. It was like chopped it up. It was sliced, yeah. perfectly sliced with a knife, sausage. Yeah, perfect sausage. I still, to this day, even with CCTV, have yeah. not got to the bottom of this mystery. No, we don't know what's going on. It's gone now. We left it there. But what I don't get is, if an animal left it for later, which was my only explanation. I've just thought of something. What? Totally plausible. What? We're so stupid. What? It was blatantly buried by a pig because that's the last person we'd suspect. I mean, I love your brain. Detective Bubbles. There's a flaw in my what's theory. A pig could never hold a knife to slice a pig. You don't know that. With a trough. You don't know that. I think I do know that. God, there's a lot to this story, isn't there? The sausage had gone the next day. No, it said there a few days and then it went, didn't it? Oh yeah, it did. 
bizarre. I like it. I like what it too. Next? I wondered if it was a neighbour trying to be mean because you just dug this flower. Rosie, I'm not being rude, right? But who buries a sausage to be mean? Exactly, you wouldn't expect anyone. Unless it was a pig who did it. I wanted those pigs, you know? The other day, yeah. we were in bed, and I stinkied, and Rose said, that smells so bad, it's interrupted your fucking aura. That's actually incredible. I've changed my own aura. Your own energy. Yeah. Your own like being. Me. Like, your genetic slash energy, like, your your, your physical, spiritual, spiritual makeup was changed by that stinky. Basically, long story short, and this is actually breakthrough information. Brand new information. Rosie did a York test, which is like an entire food intolerance to us. And she is not allergic to dairy. <laughs> You've been lying! Have you been lying? Yeah, you have. No, I haven't. Yeah, you have. I thought I was intolerant. And also, number two, still makes me smell. And number three, it may be that I was intolerant to it, didn't eat it for so, so long, being vegan and cutting out my system, but maybe I can eat it again now. But yeah, it turns out Rosie's not allergic to milk. God, hey, everything you thought you knew. Ah, oh, ah, oh. yeah. All right, guys, on that note, we're going to love you and leave you. Uh, don't forget to check out our Cornwall vlog. It's yeah. on the end screen of this good. video. It's very <laughs> nice one. It's very good. That's me selling it. By the way, we're going to be doing more vlogs. We aim to do two a month. That's our aim. Never um, tell them your aim because then they expect stuff. Okay. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And also hit that little bell button because oh, apparently that do. makes a difference. It does. And can I just say, we've been doing YouTube for eight years. Back in the day when we started YouTubing, there was no bell button, so you guys probably have never pressed it because, you know, we didn't live in that era. But you know what? It's time to get down with the kids. Let's press that bell button. And love to your mums. Love to your mums. Bye!